Hi, this is Tony with the Red Power Team. Today we're in a 8250 flagship series combine with a Drago 8-row GT corn head. We're going to walk through setting up this GT head in your monitor as well as doing a header height calibration also. got the head hooked to the combine, we've got our electrical hooked up, our feeder house is attached to the head as well. Our next step is we're going to go into the monitor and set this head up. On the monitor, we're going to press our back button, we're going to go up to toolbox, and we're going to scroll across till we get to the head one tab. When this comes up, there's a couple settings we just want to double check as we go down. Uh, we do have a corn head selected, or we're doing rows. As we keep going down, we've got an eight row head, and we use eight rows also. Uh, 30 inch rows, we're gonna double check that. Auto cut width, I have set to off because we're utilizing WAS on this combine, and I don't want it to kick a row on and off. If we were running RTK, uh, an option like that for our guidance, we would then set auto cut width to on and let it manually by GPS kick rows on and off as we're getting into our guest rows out in the field. I arrow down further and we have nothing more we need to really mess with from default settings. We're going to go to our head two tab at the bottom of the screen and check a couple of settings in here. So first we want to make sure that we have our header sensors enabled. From there we move down and we have header height tilt response set to fast. This will allow for a quicker response while we're combining out in the field. As we continue on down the list, we're going to scroll down and a couple of the settings, they're not going to apply to us. For instance, like real speed minimums, uh, that isn't going to apply to us. But as we keep going down, we're going to see other options like real end dividers. So if my head had hydraulically driven down corn augers out on the edge of the head, we would set this to yes in order to turn on those down corn augers. The head that I've selected does not have them, so I'm going to leave my real end dividers as no. On a Drago GT, uh, they are mechanical deck plate. Uh, they're not hydraulic, so we're going to leave that mechanical. We have lateral tilt on this head. Uh, and this combine is equipped with a hydraulic feeder house face plate. So our fore and aft on our face plate, we can make that adjustments right off the monitor as well with our hand controls. So now that we've got the head set up in the monitor for a Drago GT, our next step is we're going to press our back button and we're going to do calibrations. So we're going to calibrate header height. We want to make sure that we're on a level, flat surface out in the field. We're going to press our calibrations and select header. One thing that we run into when we are calibrating a corn head is we run into once in a while is that sensor on the bottom of the snoot likes to hold that uh, snoot up a little bit. So what I'll do sometimes is I'll hold my foot on the brake and I'll just barely move my propulsion lever forward just so that the combines you know, moving not even uh, one or 0.1 mile an hour. It's just sitting there just barely creeping. So I'm gonna press OK on the screen. And the first step is to pulse our head down. So our head's gonna lower down and we wanna make sure that all those snoots go down flat to the ground. Uh, make sure none of them are hanging up in the air, that that sensor isn't holding them up. And once that head's against the ground, then I kinda hold my foot on the brake a little bit more to hold the combine still. Once that step is completed, I'm going to press my raise button, the plus button. The head comes all the way back up for step two. Once step two is completed, we're going to then lower our head back down and we're going to press our minus button to lower. So our head starts to go down. When it gets near the ground again, I might slowly take my foot off the brakes a little bit. That will let those sensors pull up underneath of the snoot. 
and then when her head's kind of back down and it's sitting still, I'll put my foot back on the brake to keep the combine from just barely creeping forward again. During this step, it's detecting the weight of the head. Uh, it's utilizing the pressures in the combine to detect that. Once it's completed this step, we'll move on to our step four. Once that step's completed, we now press our plus button to raise our head back up. We press it, and at the same time, you'll notice that our head will actually go down right away. Once it's done this step, I usually pull my propulsion lever back into the neutral position because our combine doesn't need to move forward or back anymore after that. It's now gonna complete this step and it's gonna do a lateral tilt calibration. You should see the head flex to the right and flex to the left during this step as well, just a very slight movement. No, cases I go. Now that the step is completed, we've now calibrated the head. Our next step is we need to set our set points one and two for combining out in the field. So I'm gonna raise my head up halfway at this point, I need to start up my separator and my feeder. And I'm going to lower the head down to the height that I want to combine at out in the field. Once I have my head down to the height I want to combine at, I'm going to press my set point number one. Then I'm going to raise my head up to the height I want to turn around at. Once I've done that, I'm going to press set point number two. Now that this has been complete, I can use my resume button now when I get to the ends of the field to raise and lower my head, and it's going to go between set point one and set point two. To ensure that your lateral tilt is working for you before you go to the field this year, tilt your head to the right and then hit your resume button, and when your head goes down, the right side of your head should touch the ground first and you should see your head level out. If your head levels out, we know that lateral tilt is working correctly for you before you go into harvest. We hope you found this video helpful in getting your Drago head set up on your flagship series combine. For other helpful hints and videos, check us out at redpowerteam.com as well as our YouTube channel. Thank you.